As the Xbox Series X and S and PS5 seemingly enter their second half of their life cycles, with rumors of new Xbox and PS5 Pro doing their rounds, one has to wonder if there's anything left for previous gen console owners to experience. Thankfully, the cross gen releases haven't dried up, whether it's currently acclaimed releases or future hopefuls. Check out 15 big games for PS4 this year. Grand Blue Fantasy Relink Psy Games' Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, finally available nearly eight years after its initial announcement, won't rewrite the role playing game rules. However, it does offer some great production values, a solid visual style, and excellent combat to go with a gameplay loop that scratches that Monster Hunter itch. It even has co op support and will receive additional characters through post launch updates. What's not to like? System Shock Though it's almost a year since the PC version launched, never mind the time taken for the remake's launch, System Shock is finally coming to PS4 and other consoles on May 21st. Featuring completely revamped visuals that still embody the classics aesthetic, it also offers improved gunplay, an overhauled cyberspace, new UI, and much more. If you ever wanted to experience the terror of a psychotic AI out for your blood, System Shock is worth keeping an eye out for when it comes to consoles. F124 Codemasters F124 is coming out on May 31st, sooner than most expected. While it has much to prove over the other EA published entries, a new driver career mode and more authentic handling with the latest physics promise an immersive experience. There will be a full reveal in April, but it could be another solid racing sim for PS4 players to dive into. Destiny 2 The Final Shape Yes. It's an expansion for Destiny 2, Bungie's live service shooter, which is usually in dire straits. However, the final shape is more than that. It's the conclusion to the Light and Darkness saga, a story that began with the first game in 2014. Ignore all the retcons, please and thank you. It promises an extensive linear campaign with a big payoff. Three new light-based subclasses, new enemies and weapon types, and a new raid. The fact that Bungie didn't abandon previous gen owners throughout Destiny 2's lifespan is noteworthy, and we can't wait to see how the story ends on June 4th when the final shape launches. Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree From Software's costliest expansion to date also happens to be its biggest. Shadow of the Erd Tree doesn't just offer several new weapons, spells, skills, and boss fights to go with the new story, but packs in new legacy dungeons in a region larger than Limgrave. You can also expect a challenge to rival the infamous Blade of Mikola. Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree is out on June 22nd, and despite the $40 price tag, it may be the developer's best expansion yet. Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth The $70 price tag hits harder for some games than others, but with Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, Ryugagatoku Studios surpassed expectations. It delivers an extensive story with all over the top drama and hijinks expected from the series, featuring emotional arcs for Ichiban and Kiryu. The combat is heavily revamped with tag team attacks and AoE skills, among other additions, making it much more enjoyable. The optional content is expanded to an absurd degree, with Dondoku Island, Tsujima, the dungeons, and much more to sink time into. As the longest game in the series, Infinite Wealth is worth every penny and then some. The Wolf Among Us 2 Never count out Bigby Wolf, even if his next title, The Wolf Among Us 2, is going through some development troubles. The sequel launches this year for Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, PS4, PS5, and PC, and picks up six months after the original. Little is known about the plot aside from Bigby's temper being as bad as ever, but it looks great. Here's hoping the story and characters live up to the original's brilliance. The First Descendant Nexon's The First Descendant is a looter shooter developed on Unreal Engine 5, and whether it still launches on previous gen consoles or not remains to be seen. Nevertheless, it offers fast paced futuristic action with support for four players in co op, different characters with unique kits, and massive bosses to tackle. There's no release date, but it's out later this year. Clock Tower The classic side scrolling horror series Clock Tower is getting the remaster treatment, courtesy of Way Forward. Though it hasn't met the originally announced early 2024 launch window, the remaster looks gorgeous and marks the first time audiences outside of Japan can experience the first game's brilliance. Little Nightmares 3 
Though development has shifted from Tarsier Studios to Supermassive Games, Little Nightmares 3 still promises a terrifying trapeze through nowhere when it launches this year. New characters, low and alone, have their motivations for traversing the necropolis and other desolate locations, solving puzzles and sneaking past horrors like Monster Baby. However, for the first time, players can engage in online co-op with crossplay within the same console family and a friend pass requiring only one person to own the title. Solo play is still available though, so don't worry. Sonic X Shadow Generations After Sonic Colors Ultimate, Sonic Generations is getting the remastered treatment. While it features the same beloved single-player campaign of the 2011 original, where players venture through legendary stages as classic and modern Sonic, there's a new addition to the collection, Shadow the Hedgehog. Shadow gets a dedicated campaign, revisiting his memories to unlock new abilities and defeat a resurgent Black Doom. Sonic X Shadow Generations launches this fall for PS4, PS5, PC, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, and Nintendo Switch. The Outlast Trials just when you think Red Barrels can't push the envelope anymore with its gore, it releases The Outlast Trials and makes you question everything. As a prequel to the first two games, the story sees players surviving brutal trials orchestrated by the Murkoff Corporation to earn their freedom. From electrocuting snitches to dismembering bodies, it's a brutal journey and one that you can embark on with up to two other players online. WWE 2K24 Visual Concepts delivers another solid entry in the WWE 2K series with WWE 2K24, introducing new match types like ambulance and casket matches, adding on to My Faction, Universe, and My GM, and improving the animations of its superstars. There are new stories to engage with in My Rise, expanded backstage brawls, and a new 2K showcase mode to revisit some of the biggest matches in WrestleMania history. Granted, the showcase is a step down from last year, but the unlockables and historical context make it worth checking out. MLB The Show 24 Despite some server issues for its early access launch, SIE San Diego's MLB The Show series continues to shine with its latest edition. The Road to Show returns with the option to create a female baseball player with a unique storyline. Players can also engage in an MLB draft combined to showcase their talents, while storylines return with a new tale focused on Derek Jeter and his achievements through history. MLB The Show 24 is available worldwide on March 19th for previous and current gen consoles. Top Spin 2K25 While Top Spin 2K25 may seem like another sports title in a year full of them, it's actually the first sequel in the acclaimed series since 2011's Top Spin 4. Out on April 26th for current and previous gen consoles alongside PC, it features legends like Roger Federer and Serena Williams. That's not all, as my player makes its way to the franchise, allowing you to create a tennis star and rise through the ranks to win the Grand Slam. Prince of Persia The Lost Crown Prince of Persia The Lost Crown takes a side-scrolling approach. Featuring fast-paced hack-and-slash combat with time-bending abilities, solid platforming, it's one of the more underrated releases of the year. Best of all, it's receiving free updates this year, which add boss rush, new trials, speedrun, and even permadeath modes. Hey, did you know that we at Gaming Bolt upload new videos every day? Stick around, drop a like, subscribe, and hit that bell. And let us know what kind of content you'd like to see in the future with a comment below.